If you look at page 3, we will start off with the addition of fraction. Alright? So, fraction you already know. Fraction is that part of a whole. Right? So, you can always add part of this whole with part of the other whole. So, we, can, we are going to do addition of fraction. So, it can be added later, the other part then is subtraction. The meaning of like fractions here. Alright? Like fractions means same denominators. Alright, you must make sure whenever you have addition of subtraction, you need to make them to the same denominator. Only when the denominators are the same, then you can add the numerators. Alright? And you put this answer over the denominator. Please take note, do not add the denominators. You only add the numerators. But make sure the denominators must be the same first before you add the numerators. Understand? Okay? Okay or not? Why are you put it upside down? Right fraction, add only the numerator, put answer over the denominator. Yeah, do not add the denominators. Understand or not? Alright. Okay, so look at this now. Here, you have 1 out of 4 plus 2 out of 4. So the first thing you check, are the denominators the same? Yes. yes. So when the denominators are the same, you only add the numerators. So 1 plus 2, you get 3. So the answer will be just 3 out of the denominator of 4. Please do not go and add 4 plus 4 equals to 8. Understand? Alright? Okay? Get it? Alright, next. So now, 1 out of 3 plus 2 out of 3. Are the denominators the same? Yes. Yes. So you add the 1 and the 2. What do you get? 3. And you put it out of? Three. And then can you see one here? Yeah. Three out of three is actually equals to one whole. Please remember, one whole means the denominator and the numerator are the same. Alright, the denominator and the numerator are the same. So you can see, 3 out of 3 is 1 whole, right? How about 5 out of 5? One, one whole. Just now you all get, right, the 1 whole minus 3 out of 5. It, the 1 whole to minus the 3 out of 5 is 5 out of 5 minus the 3 out of 5. That's why the answer is 2 out of 5. Understand this? Alright, so remember, 1 whole, it can be any number out of the same number. Alright? Okay? So far, done? Yes. Okay, now, now we look at the bottom part. I just screw up a bit only. Okay, now, if what if the fraction do not have the same denominator. If the fraction do not have the same denominator, you need to use equivalent fraction so that you can make the fractions to be the same denominator. Alright? In this case, they say for one of the fraction. But I'm going to tell you is if you have a bigger number and a smaller number. If the smaller number can times something to get the bigger number, right? You just use the smaller number to times. However, if the smaller number and the bigger number, you, you cannot use the smaller number to times to get the bigger number, right? Then you times each other. 
Alright, if we have examples like this, then I'll talk more about it. Alright? So, 5 and 10, are the denominators the same? No. No. So, how do you make 5 to become the same as 10? Times 2. Times 2. So, if you times 2 to the denominator, what must you do to the numerator? Times 2. Good. This is what you learned last week. And this is what we are doing. What we are doing here is the equivalent. Alright? So, 3 times 2, what do you get? 6. 6. 5 times 2? 10. 10. That's why you will get 6 out of 10 plus 1 out of 10. Now, when the denominators are the same, yeah. you can add the numerator. So, 6 plus 1 will give you 7. And 7 out of 10 will therefore be the answer. Understand this? Why cannot times 5? You times 5 already, then it will become a denominator of 25, what? Oh. If you are telling me why cannot plus 5, then that is wrong, alright? You can only do the times way to get equivalent fraction, understand? If not, it will be doing the divide way to get the simplest form. And usually, when you are doing your work here, right, you need to use equivalent fraction. But at the end over here, you will need to check whether can you simplify your answer. Understand? In this case, cannot simplify. Alright, if you try to, to check for it, you cannot simplify. So this is the final answer. Get it? Why? Ah? You want to try the division thing? We always start simplest form dividing by what? 2. Can 7 divide by 2? No. No, no means now we go on to 3. Can divide by 3? No. No. After that? 4. Four. No. Then? Five. No. Then? Six. No. no. Then? Seven. Seven can, right? Can ten divide by seven? No. no. Then? Same number as the numerator, right? No need to try anymore, right? Simplest form, what? Correct. Okay, so this is the answer. Same as the numerator, lo. remember? Then you try up to ten? Get it or not? Alright? Are the denominators the same? Yes. Are the denominators the same? Yes. What plus 2 give you 5? 3. Alright? What must I put here? Because all the denominators must be the same. Understand this? Okay. Oh, nine. Because the denominator is the same, we take 6 plus 2. Next. Okay, again, because the denominator is the same, right? So you take 7 to plus 2. Oh, have you done? 3, 6, 9. So times? Times 3. Denominator not the same, right? So 3 must times 3. 2? What must I do to the 2? So, 2 times 3, I get 6, but the denominator is 9. nine. Then copy back so plus 1 out of 9. What do you get now? Uh, 7 out of 9. Denominator is the same, you add the numerator, 6 plus 1. Do you need to simplify? No. no. So, this is your final answer. Alright. Okay, this one don't have sim that this one does not have simplest form. All right, next, twelve and three denominators are not the same. What must you do over here? Times four. Which one times four? Uh, three times four. Three times four. And what must I do over here? Also times four. Times four. So this one that is in front, right? Copy back first. Seven out of twelve plus plus what? Four out of twelve. So the denominators the same. You add the numerators. What do you get? Eleven out of twelve. Good. Any simplest form for this? No. no. All right. So this is the final answer.